Hi, I'm Dave Osborne, an editor at the Naples Daily News. And I'm here in Naples at the Ritz-Carlton with Terry Duffy, executive chairman and president of CME Group, which is the largest futures exchange in the world. Yes. How's it going today? So far, so good, Dave. We're getting ready to kick off the conference, so we couldn't be more excited to be down here in Naples again. Can you tell some people what the uh, Global Financial Leadership Conference is about and who comes down yeah, here for it, that? It, there's, there's several diverse uh, groups of people that come down here, Dave, but what's really important is we bring about three to 350 of our top clients from around the world. Mm -hmm. And this is a client uh, conference. It's not a, your traditional conference where you have a lot of vendors coming in yeah. trying to sell their products. It's just market end users of, the, of our products. And um, it, we think it's a great, unique conference because nobody's being hassled to buy anything. And they get a chance to talk to a very degree, uh, diverse group of speakers on top of it. So over the years, we've had you know former, sitting, uh, former presidents of the United States. We've had the former president of France, Mr. Sarkozy here. We've had secretaries of state, you know, Clinton and others. And we've had President Clinton. And we've also had President Bush, so Tony Blair to name a few. So we've had a really good list of speakers throughout the years at our conference. So I think it's a little bit more unique than some of the other conferences you see around the world. Yeah, and I, I've, been, I've been, I think this is my fourth year. I was here after the presidential election with Carl Rove yep. and um, James Carville. Right. When, and that was very entertaining. And this year, of course, you have um, two pretty prominent newsmakers yeah. in the light of what just happened we do. in Paris. Could you uh, tell people who sure. that is? Sure. That's uh, former secretaries Hegel and Panetta. Mm -hmm. And Leon, as we know, is also the former um, head of the CIA on top of that, both being defense secretaries. So, you know, it'll be interesting to hear their thoughts on um, the security uh, abroad and here at home because there's obviously much concern here at home as well. And all our hearts go out to all the folks uh, mm -hmm. throughout France. Will the Will they be talking also about financial security or some of the, some of those issues too? Or you know, I'm not so sure. I'm sure they had kind of like a, a, a little playbook that they were going to go by for the conference. But mm -hmm. now with recent events, I'm assuming they probably have altered that. So mm -hmm. it'll be interesting to see how they handle it. Um, they've both been out of office for a couple of years now, so it'll be interesting to see what their thoughts are and how much open they can be about this type of national security issues. And also, Alan Mulally, the former um, CEO of yeah. Ford Motor Company. Yeah the former CEO of Walmart. <laughs> There's a lot of really interesting people yeah. here. And some of the other people, I guess some of the celebrities are gonna be here too. Well, we do. Of... We have uh, former Governor Schwarzenegger, mm -hmm. and obviously our very big actor. And then we have Martin Sheen mm -hmm. uh, from the West Wing and many other things. So we have, a, and then we have Bob Schieffer coming. So we're gonna That's do a right. little version of Meet the Press. So okay. we'll do a little play on your business. Yep. <laughs> and uh, so that'll be quite interesting also. So that'll entertain our, uh, our clients tomorrow night at our gala dinner. So we're excited about that event. And we have actually another surprise guest, but we're not going to tell them You're not going to tell no, us? Okay. No. And this is the eighth could year? Could be another president, though. Really? It could be. Could be. So we'll see. We'll have to check it out then. Right, it, for sure. This is the eighth year of the conference. Yep. Has it grown every year? Are you, like you said, you kind of limit it to 300, 350? Well, yeah, we max it out at a certain level because we don't want to lose the, the boutique-ness of it and mm -hmm. the, the ability for people to interact with our speakers. And I think if you get too big, then it, it doesn't work anymore. And the hotel is a perfect size for us. Yeah. Naples is a great area. My clients love to come to Naples, Florida. I live here part-time, so it's mm -hmm. nice for me as well. Yeah. So I get to stay at home. And uh, it's just a great venue for us. Do, do the guests actually get to mingle with some of the celebrity people? They do. They, and they and do. how does that work? Is it, it works is out it? real well. Everybody's yeah. really relaxed, you know, because nobody feels uptight. I have a dear friend, Mark Wahlberg, uh, an actor that, that I met down here years ago. We've become friends over the years now, okay. so I would go out and stay at his place in California. Wow. And he, he was just a regular guy. This is when he was doing the movie Lone Survivor. So we had the actual Lone Survivor here yeah. that Mark played in the movie. Yeah, I saw that. Yep. So it was really um, a great event. So. People, we, we bring people like that that are not uptight. And then we have the LPGA players here as well because mm -hmm. we have the Tour Championship right. here in Naples, which we brought to Naples a few years back, which has been a big success for the area too. I think when I asked you last year, you said you, you start planning for next year's. Are you already starting? Like the day, the day this yeah. ends, you almost have to start it. We, we actually are because, you know, one of the things I like to do is bring uh, John Boehner in. And John's a former Speaker of the House, he a dear, dear friend here. of ours. And then Marco, yeah. so I talked to John, he's going to, I'll be with him this week, but I want John to be here as a speaker. But right now he's just being removed from the speaker, yeah. not removed, retiring. Yeah. It'd be very difficult for him to say certain things to our crowd. But a year from now, I think it'll be very fascinating to have something like that. So we're already thinking about guys like John and others um, that could potentially be uh, coming to the conference next year. Is there, is there a high demand? I mean, do the tickets sell out really fast? Yeah, the, the demand is high. And you know, when we originally put this conference on in 2007 or eight, whatever year it was, we basically underwrote the entire event. And now we have an, an over a million dollars worth of sponsorships coming wow. into this event. So 
it's come a long way in a very short period of time. So people are trying to get their names attached to the conference mm -hmm. just to be a part of it. So our sponsorship level has gone up dramatically. This year, for the first time, we have Microsoft as a sponsor. Oh, wow. So that, I think that's telling them this conference has come a long way. Does it help the, I know it's only three or three or 50 people, does it help the local economy at all in some, oh, some absolutely. way? Absolutely, it absolutely helps the local economy um, between the restaurant business and, and mm -hmm. the retail shops and things like that. You know, there's a lot of high-end individuals coming in here with their mm -hmm. families. It's a lot of them bring families, a lot of yeah. them stay for the golf. And then we have the golf for the whole weekend, which brings people from all different parts of Florida into the Naples area to, uh, to watch the ladies uh, tour championship. And with the race to the CME Globe, and we're gonna see one lady get the $1 million uh, year-end prize, mm -hmm. it's pretty exciting. And so it brings in people from other parts of Florida to watch the golf too. W where are people coming from around the world for this? Uh, most, I would say London mm -hmm. is a big part of it. We have a lot of Asian folks coming in for this, and then obviously North America is our biggest clientele, mostly New York. Because of what happened in Paris, did you have to do anything with security, anything different? You know, we don't try to comment on that okay. um, because it's just, we don't want to comment on that. Yes, okay. we ha we've always had a very tight security yeah. operation because of what we do for a living, mm -hmm. um, but we don't talk about any differences. I was, yeah, just curious. Yeah. Um, as far as um, other parts of the, the world, the globe, are there people that come in from, um, that have never been here before? Or how does that happen? If they want to come from another country and never been here, how do they get a chance to come here? Well, normally they work with our product and services people because okay. we have so many people that work for the, the exchange itself. So they're your clients too? They're our clients. Yeah. So we have people that, you know, are representing the, the clients at the company. So mm -hmm. they say this guy or that young lady should be mm -hmm. here and um, it'll be interesting. And also, just that you didn't mention this, but we have Elizabeth Holmes here. Okay. And I don't know if you've seen Elizabeth Holmes, she's the one that developed the blood drop to test yeah. all the different things and she's been under a little bit of controversy in the Wall Street mm -hmm. Journal lately. So yeah. she'll be our luncheon speaker tomorrow, which I think will be quite fascinating for our guests too to hear her. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, so we do get a lot of uh, people from around the world, traders, and our folks, we have, you know, 150 to 200 people in Europe working for the CME Group. We have another 100 people on the ground in Asia working for CME wow. Group. So we have, uh, employees all over the world that are servicing these clientele and so they tell us who would like to come to the conference. Did, did you live here before the conference or did you visit down here and then you decide to put the conference here? How did that work? Yeah, <laughs> so we, my wife and I and the kids, we came down in 06 and bought down here and mm -hmm. then uh, it was really right after that we decided to have a conference and, and I always loved this hotel and the people here have always yeah. been super nice to me so I said, you know, let's bring it to Naples. So uh, most conferences are either on the other coast um, if you're going to Florida yeah. or they're up in Orlando and I thought you know this is more unique it's a little bit more difficult to get to but once you're here you're pleased that you came so Naples is a great place. Which seems like it's one of the more you know unique like you said or boutique conferences I mean the people that come here have to be it has to be one of the most unique of, of its kind in the world. Well we had a comment one time when we put out a survey after the conference mm -hmm. and one of the comments was it's the only conference you could ever go to where every panelist would be a keynote speaker at any yeah. other event. Yeah. So think about that statement. That's yeah. a very bold, big statement that gives our conference the credibility that you know makes us all thrilled what we're doing. Well, like when you contact Julia Louise Dreyfus or Arnold Schwarzenegger and other other people, do, have they heard about it, or how do you convince them to come here? How do they? Well, they look at you know obviously their reps look at who's been here in the past. Yeah. So it's all how you get off on year one. So we got off on year one with Tony Blair. Mm -hmm. So the former prime minister. Right. So you know you get credibility right out of the shoot with the people you have, and then you get the former presidents coming here, and they see that. So they understand that, that when they see Karl Rove or other folks like that here, or they see former politicians or world leaders coming to our conference, yeah. it, it gets a little bit easier to invite these folks. And actually, we get a little knocks on our door. Well, who are you having this year? Yeah. yeah. So people want to be here. Yeah. And so that's good. That's awesome. It's great for Naples. It's great for the Ritz-Carlton. It's great yeah. for the CME Group. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, this is Dave Osborne again with the Naples Daily News with Terry Duffy. Um, go to NaplesNews.com to find out more information, and we'll see you soon.